less is more. There are many scientifically proven benefits of this approach. Increased productivity and focus, reduced stress, increased happiness, more time, energy and money. But it also solves one of the biggest problems in our society, consumerism. Consumerism is the drive to buy and own more and more things, which leads to anxiety, poverty, yet the system we live in manipulates us to buy this and buy that. People behind the biggest companies in the world only care about their own money. That's why they want us to be brainless consumers. I believe that this problem is much bigger than we think and that both me and you are impacted by it, so I want to tackle it by becoming a minimalist to hopefully get all the benefits mentioned before and inspire you to do the same. These are the rules. I will get rid of all the things I don't need, which means that I will get rid of everything that doesn't serve any purpose in my life. I will wear the same outfit every day, I will change pieces, the look's just going to be the same. I will organize my environment by assigning each item its place, that way I will avoid clutter and I won't lose things. I will simplify my schedule by planning every single activity and setting aside time during the day to rest and recharge. I will choose digital over physical, so for example, instead of writing things down on a paper, I will write them down in my second brain because it's easier to organize digital data. And I will do one more exciting thing, which I wanted to do for a long time, but you will have to watch the video till the end to get to know what it is. After a week, I will tell you how it feels to be a minimalist. Task number one, get rid of useless items. Do you have a tactical vest in your wardrobe? I don't think so. At first I thought that this would be the easiest task, but I quickly realized how wrong I was. I felt some kind of attachment to my items. I knew that I had to get rid of them, but I just didn't feel like it. Maybe I will use this one day. Everything that you can see here is for sale and the reason I have so many clothes is because I'm an ex-fashion influencer and I somehow gotta sell all of this, but I hope it's gonna make me a lot. I put on sale everything that could make me some money, things I thought I could actually use in the future ended up in my basement and everything else I gave away to charity or threw away. And fuck me man, now I get a vacuum too. This whole process took me many hours, but I ended up very happy with how it turned out. I cannot believe how much empty space there is now, and I know that I'm going to absolutely enjoy it. <laughs> Task number two, wear the same outfit every day. I got rid of most of my clothes simply because they annoyed me. I didn't feel like choosing a flashy outfit every day, so to make my life even easier, I decided to wear the same one all the time. I have a stack of very similar t-shirts and a pair of jeans. Yes, I will wear the same pair of jeans every day. I'm not a weirdo, okay? Even the CEO of Levi's said that you shouldn't wash your jeans unless they get smelly or dirty. A, a good pair of denim doesn't really need to be washed. My outfit may not stand out, but it's completely fine because I feel comfortable, I feel confident and I look good. I hope so. At this point you may be wondering why would you do this whole transformation in the first place. Listen, over the past month I felt like there were simply too many items around me, I couldn't fit anything into my wardrobe, my room was a mess 90% of the time and believe it or not, but that is not a usual state for me. I dare you to name one YouTuber who would show you their room in such state. <laughs> In such environment I couldn't really focus, I wasn't motivated nor present and that's when I decided okay I have to do something with it because I'm preaching the self-improvement message online but I live in a mess myself. My dad always wanted me to try minimalism and I'm 100% sure that he would ask me to try it again so I thought I would give it a shot. Task number three, organize environment. Now so that I had much more empty space I needed to organize it in the most practical way. Number one rule for this task was to hide everything. I wanted this to look like a minimalistic room, so all the items had to be out of sight. I put all the most commonly used things on my waist level to make it easy to reach out for them. And I promised myself that after I use something, I will put it back to a signed place immediately. That way, I will never make my room messy. Given that I never lack discipline. 
I think this is the most practical setup for my room. I mean, there's no way I can lose anything if I just stay disciplined and put everything back to its place. By the way, I've got something epic in here and it's going to go up there, but I will show you that just in a few minutes. Task number four, plan every single activity in your day. Minimalism doesn't only come down to getting rid of physical items, but also simplifying your schedule. While it technically takes more work to plan every single activity you're gonna do the following day, it is much easier to stay productive and focused when you always know your next step. That's why planning your days is in my opinion the number one productivity habit you can develop, and while I usually did create a to-do list for each day of the week, with this experiment I took it to the next level. It's already half past 10 p.m. but I had only finished planning my next day. I had to create a perfect plan because I have very little time to finish this YouTube video so I have to focus and work at 100% efficiency. And one thing that came to my mind is that you probably realize that setting deadlines or goals is necessary for better results but I think that the same thing applies for everyday tasks. I'm seeing my girl at 12. Okay, so I better focus and not get distracted by filming the video so that I make it on time. I think that I'm much more likely to do the task efficiently because I set a deadline on it. Hope you understand. I followed my ultra productivity schedule surprisingly well, but what I liked the most was that I didn't only plan tasks, but also breaks. I usually didn't take any breaks, which made me think that I'm being more productive because I'm working more, while in reality after an hour or two I was losing focus. Knowing that you're not doing anything but working all day long, every day can also be overwhelming. What did you think? I always gotta come back for my camera like that. Luckily, planning and actually taking breaks allows me to recharge and stay productive for a longer period of time. I guess that's why at school we have 10 minute breaks every 45 minutes. Task number 5. Move from physical to digital. One very cool thing I recently found is the idea of a second brain. We humans have our brains where we store all our information, memories, ideas, but the problem is that brain storage is limited and temporary. That's why we forget some things. Our brains have to replace old information with new one. Having a second brain is a solution to this problem. It's like having a second hard drive to your computer. In my notion, I created a new page called Second Brain and from now on I will be storing all my ideas, thoughts, notes and other data there. I will try to organize it as much as possible so that whenever I need a specific quote, I can quickly find it. Tomorrow I'm going to London, so I had created a page called Packing for Trips and I wrote down everything I should consider taking there. The idea is that I will use this page whenever I travel somewhere and I won't worry that I forget to pack something. Task number 6. Fill up the emptiness. For a long time, I've had a street sign on my wall. Of course, I bought it 100% legally. I would never just unscrew it from the streets and take home. Next to it, there was an anime poster, but as I got older, I thought that those things look kinda immature. So I took them off and yeah. So a month ago, I had ordered some cool looking posters that felt close to my heart and it was finally time to put them up. Wasn't this whole thing about not having items? Yes, but being a minimalist doesn't mean that your room has to look like a psychiatric room. It's about decluttering and organizing your environment. It's about making your life more simple. You don't need to get rid of every single item you own. You don't need to look like a psycho. I just want you to feel like an organized person. These posters brought my favorite, mountain forest aesthetic into this room. It's not just an empty space anymore, but it is still simple and organized. Okay, so I've been living this minimalist lifestyle for the past 7 days and here are some takeaways from my experiment. The most important one is that I'm much more productive in general. Not only because I plan every single activity every day, but also because I set time aside to rest and recharge. Such breaks are very important and I'm sure I missed them before this experiment. I have no problems keeping my room clean, there are no random items laying around and because of that it's easier for me to sit down to work because I don't have to clean up my mess before. I no longer feel afraid to open my wardrobe. I love how much space there is in it and because I wear pretty much the same outfit every day, what to wear problem in the morning is gone. I also made some money selling the clothes, which is a great bonus. Due to my second brain, I'm less overloaded mentally and I don't feel as burned out as I did before. And lastly, I absolutely love my posters. They remind me of peace that nature provides and they make me wanna go on a hike. 
you can expect the hiking video this summer. Do I miss all the clothing I sold and all the items I threw away? Not at all. In fact, I didn't even notice lack of anything, which only proves how many useless items I had. I will keep living like this for the next days, weeks, months or even years and because this was such a positive experience, I want you to try minimalism for yourself. Declutter your environment, simplify your life and I promise it will make you more productive, present and happier. If you want to see another very positive transformation that is not so much about your environment but mostly about you, then you have to watch this video. Thank you so much for being here with me and remember to stay focused.